So let's continue. The update user also done. Last one, delete users. So which user you want to delete? You can see everything is available here. So I'm doing those, those things only. Delete user. So let's do a delete user also. So delete user and uh, there is no body at all. Okay, so you can remove the body. So this is delete user. So you will get a 204, right? That's what uh, they are mentioned. 204. Status code. <laughs> Turn this one, I don't think so. We have no content. no content, it's not there. Okay, you can delete this. So, we have to make it a delete, save it. So, base once you make changes, always try to make a save. See, now it passed. This also delete user 204, no content. That's what we, our validation also. So this is all the requests uh, we have completed. And then now I want to show you how to do a data-driven testing, right? That's what we want to see. So in the create user, I will supply this data, okay, this data from CSV file. So how to do that? How to supply data from CSV file? So this is a very, very important. In real time, you will use all these things. How to get the data from CSV file to this uh, response body, uh, sorry, request body. This is the request body. So in the request body, how it will, it will rotate different, different uh, users. So what I'm going to do, I'll give a name as a parameter. But whatever you are, so how to give this? Whatever you give in the Excel sheet, the like CSV file, that header name is your uh, parameter name here. Okay? And here also. So let's go and first to open the Excel sheet. Okay? So Excel sheet. Excel. Open the Excel, then you save it, okay? Then you save. Right, so this is the one. So we can save uh, no, the headers, what are the headers you are giving? Uh, header name, I'm giving a name. I'll just give name uh, value. So the different, I'm giving a different name, job value, okay? So you can give all the people's name, what you want, what are the different uh, things you want to give. So you can just tell first, uh, I'll just give some of the your names, okay? Oh, you can give see I'm, I'm doing multiple sets of data okay that how you can it will create a multi, all these users it has to create so that's what the main thing who else Sandeep is there right Sandeep I'll give and I can give as that. So like this, you can create a, 
different sets of data. But once you give this, the header names is your variable names. So this header name is uh, same you have to use here. So how to use that? And curly bracket inside this value and this one. Same. What is the other one? Job val, right? Job val. Job val. So now what will happen? It will read from there and this post method will repeat multiple times. So that's, that's the data driven testing. How to do? So how to do data driven testing is this how to supply data from Excel file. I'm so I'm showing. And also how to do data driven testing through API collection also I'm showing. So then how to do this? So we'll run the entire collection, right? We'll run the entire collection also. So that time you can supply the value. But so now suppose if you run now, it won't uh, run data because it's just creating as it is. But that's not the real one, right? So that's why you need to give this value. So to, if you want to give this value, you have to run this entire collection. First save this file. First save this file. How to save? You have to save it to .csv file, remember, okay? So save as, you can go to somewhere C drive. I'm, I'm keeping in C drive. So I'll keep it is uh, Postman data, something we can keep it. Postman collection data, see? You can just save it, create collection data. Data. So not CSV, okay? Uh, not the XLSX. It is, so going to be, you, you select here, save as a type, there is a C. CSV, UTF, comma, delimited CSV. And you have uh, different options, select them. CSV, uh, comma, delimited CSV. It's okay, any one you select it. I'm selecting one of them. Save it. That's it. Then close this file. And while running the entire collection, you give that data. How to run the entire collection? Right click on the collection name, run collection. So here you need to provide iterations. How many iterations you are? If you give one, it will run. It will one. one. When you select the file, automatically it will select all the. So all the rows it will select. So just give. Postman collection date. Today's date. What is the today's date? Six thirteen, right? Just give this. See, automatically four rows are there, four rows has come. So this is the data file you selected. You want to persist response per a session automatically in the console. This all right, you can clean up and it will show here and our response also, you can see that. Okay, so this is the how to run the entire collection. Just click on run collection. See, create collection will run multiple times. Four times it will run. See, all four times completed. See, now you got a total four iterations. All test 32. So iteration one. See, get a list of users in single user. Every iteration, all the uh, APIs will run. So all APIs will create in the first one. If you want to see, first one, what is that? This is the guy three you have given. So that is created. That's the response you got. So what is the request you have given? Request Gayatri, automation test engineer has come. That response, it is created this one. So next iteration, iteration two. See, you can see iteration two. So iteration two, you just click here. Okay, this URL is there, there you click. So what is the request? Stravani you have given. So this is the one. So this is the how you can create a data-driven testing. Click on this URL. Post method, don't click this. 
click on this your then you will get a your uh, what is the request you have given what is the response you got it both you can see here that's the why when you will get this when you select the there is option to persistent uh, response that checkbox you have to check after selecting the file so even though if you don't want to select the file also you can give that then you so like this you can uh, see every request the next uh, sunday so request to this one and uh, so the, all this data coming from csv file all this data coming from csv file so this is the how you can uh, you know, do a data driven testing and also you can export these results so you can export see a number of test cases passed failed is four what are the failed four you can just check that so expected response to have status code um this one and response so this one okay but uh, why it failed status code 201 update user update user update user status code 201 okay so update user we didn't uh, change it okay this is the 200 right it's a 200 that's why you can catch it like this so i you know you can catch like this now let's run this again so i'll show you now where it is you know you're going to give see persistent response per session then it will store your response like that you will get give the data file select the data file see how fast it is right it's very, very fast. So 6.30 in this one. See four iterations, run the collections. See, you can see here very clearly passed and failed. See, passed is 31, 32, failed zero. Before it was four was failing. So total 32 errors. And all four iterations, you can see iteration one, iteration two, iteration three, iteration four. All the iterations you can see. So you can export these results. You can export these results and wherever you want, and you can save this. So this is the another important thing, how to export. And also how to share this collection with your friends. How to share this collection with your friends. Just so right click on the collection, three dots you click, export. Save this. So collection v2.1, export. Save it somewhere in the, in the JSON format. Okay, JSON format. And you can give it. Even, so here in the left side, can you see here environments? Even environment variables also you can share it. So what is your environment name? You can search here. So your environment name. So request June, right? So this you can export. Export. So this also environment variables also you can share. So both if you share, they can import. How to import, I'll show you. So let's, uh, anybody, uh, I'll just give these things uh, and one of you can import so that you will learn it. Okay, let me share this with you guys. Uh, I'll share the file. File, right, file. So you can uh, download, okay. Your computer. So date modified. You can see now. You can read out. Clear name will be there. See environment variable. Postman collection. These two you need. So let me share these two. So these two only you need. Okay. Send it. So download. Can anyone uh, share your screen and we'll I'll show you how to import into your uh, postman collection postman press download you keep it in one place so then you can anybody did or no Okay, I know. So you are all uh, the kind of people. 
I will show you here itself. I don't know. Uh, it will uh, happen again. Yeah, it will copy. Anyway. So how do you put somebody shared, okay? Uh, somebody shared your uh, collection name, environment developers. How to import into Postman? So click on this import. So drag and drop. So this is the, go to your location. I don't want to depend on you guys. So here, and this is the one. So first I am importing collection. So that's why collection you import. So import as a copy, because already I have that, that's why it will import as a copy. So then the second one is, it will import as a copy. You can see there will be a copy. So June that it is created. See all are came down. So you want to import a environment variables. Just go here and import. Select the environment variables here, import. And you, so add that file. So where is that file? So this is the environment. We see it is separated easily environment. Uh, you don't need to co confuse also. So it will be very clear dot JSON environment. So import as a copy. So there will be another copy here. See there is a two. So which one you want to use or rename this. Okay. Only one is enough. Two are not required. So this is the how to import environments, collections, how to share with the friends and your teammates and they can reuse. They don't need to write again. Okay. So this is the, all the important points you need to remember. Okay. So any questions here? No, sir. Okay. So that's all about the manual testing. Tomorrow onwards we'll uh, go First, VD Cucumber, I'll explain. Then we'll uh, create a Maven project, add all the dependencies. Then we'll start writing the automation test cases. Okay. So uh, we are practicing on this, so on this website. So make sure you complete this manual testing. Then you can understand their automation. Yeah. Thank you.